Well, no, I just ask that you stay on the sidewalk just for safety reasons, okay, sir? You're more than welcome to be a cop. I just ask that you not, like, hurt people unnecessarily. Okay. Go away. Make sure you stay on the sidewalk. Yeah, make sure you don't be an asshole, okay? okay. Just try not to do that. I'm not being an asshole right now. Oh, yeah, no. And I'm not off the sidewalk right now. I know. I'm just letting you know. As if I didn't. Do you randomly do that? Just kind of go up to people who are not violating the law and tell them not to? What is this property anyway? Yeah, okay. Public public property. Yeah, public property. Public. Public property. Yeah. I see I see there's a an exercise going on. I can understand how that might limit access in some way. Authorized personnel and vehicles only. There we go. Restricted area of public property, but restricted. I don't know if you notice that that I don't take your word for anything. I didn't realize it was an exercise. I thought something was happening. Oh, okay, well, shoot. I need to flip this. Okay. No gimbal. Fire truck turning right about Driver, three, two, three streets down. Your left. Let me stop. Keep going. 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 Stop. Come back to the sound of my voice. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Stop. Get down on your knees.
stopping to flip the phone. Probably gonna hit the Bixby key, adjusting the phone and the gimbal. Yep. Has to happen. Oh, can't use Bixby while recording videos. That's awesome. I'm so glad to learn that. That's actually really handy. Oh man, so much better slash easier to center the phone, hit the power key, but to centering the phone before you start filming. see if this is good enough. I'm not centering it or not balancing it on the, uh, oh shoot, I gotta balance it on this axis though. Oh man, do not ever. Oh my gosh, really? What is up with this? I can't get it centered. Good enough. Clearly missed some stuff. Them actually approaching the car because of the overheat. Now they're just debriefing. But they're still gonna be this guy over here giving us the eye. I'm gonna move to that other patch of shade. So oh man. Oh, because I'm using the camera app. The zoom key doesn't work on the gimbal instead of using their proprietary app, which supposedly would work. But I'm not gonna stop to connect it. Let's just use this. Mechanical functions still work. Steadying still works. So yeah, debrief. Boring. Kind of. But that was my bad for stepping out of the shade. So I had actually followed a couple of calls fruitlessly. One, they just never showed up, and it was about a guy who was an unwanted, and I, I watched the guy, I actually filmed him just so I'd have a record of what he was doing in case anybody tried to lie about that. I filmed him walking away, crossing the street, going a couple properties over. He was obviously out of it. He was just like wandering into car lots, and uh, I, I, when I first got there, I, I asked him if he had had interaction with the people at that address, just to let him know that the cops had been called, and he, he acted all like freaked out, because I even talked to him. He was obviously in a, in a state. He just like, he just like looked away and covered his head. I wasn't even filming. He just didn't want to talk to a person, so he was obviously kind of out of it. But, uh, so I filmed him for 10 minutes as he wandered away, and, and they never showed up. They had a pretty high load, uh, so they were actually refusing calls. They were getting low-level calls, and, you know, the, the, the U unit, the, the supervisor, was returning with 
you know, let them know we're not going to respond to that because we're understaffed. Well, this might be why, right here, partly. But I was actually coming to film this downtown police station because I never had, and I was imagining that I would go into the back lot back here, not realizing that they were doing an exercise, but I, uh, you know, might could easily have walked up there without seeing that sign that's obviously meant for cars, but it does say authorized personnel only, which I have my questions about that. Like, can the municipal police department restrict people from their parking lot? Uh, you know, they got these ready bays or whatever, so they need to keep that area clear for emergencies. What is this combination fire department too? Because those are big doors, but the truck that just responded, the ladder truck or whatever it was, close by here didn't come from here so I don't think it's a I don't think it's a uh, combination fire department we got a little uh, go-kart unit ATV unit whatever that just turned onto the street to my left running along the front of the building they gave me the eye you know whatever they looked I, I need to invert the axis for this joystick on the gimbal because I, I always wanna, I always imagine that it's inverted, so push right to turn left. That somehow just makes sense to me. And so I keep doing it backwards, same with up and down. I'll have to see if there's a way. And I think even if I had the shotgun mic, even if I, I have it here, I could just plug it in, mount it. I mean, the mount is already on here. But I still don't think I'd be getting anything of what they're saying in there. And I don't think it's hard for anyone to imagine what they're saying. This is how this scenario is. This is what you do here. This is why you don't do that. This is how this person did a good thing. That person shouldn't have done that. Would have been better if. The public's your enemy. Make sure you're always watching out for them to jump you from behind and be ready to kill them if needed. That kind of thing. Anything anybody does that isn't absolutely ordinary is utterly suspicious. Don't bother changing your oil, it's unnecessary. <laughs> I think that's like a beater car they use just for simulations or something. I think it was not looking well. Yeah, and so no idea how long this could go on, obviously. Though they're probably gonna limit the training because of heat. Because the shotgun mic could pick up some of that. But I'm far more interesting. She's the ballet. If I if I put my foot over this line, right here, moving with the gimbal very, very slow, if I step over that line, do you think he'll bust a move? Public property, city property, or <laughs> what? I mean, we don't even know, you know, we're a police officer and we don't even know the nature of the property and who's allowed to access it. And there's a sign right there that is actually the answer. And his, his situational awareness is such that he didn't, like, have that sign in his consciousness indicating that it's 
authorized personnel only. And as always, you get the occasional uh, rubberneck. Everybody's just popping off here and there, one at a time, popcorn style. Oh, I'm going to look at the camera. Oh, I'm going to look at the camera. Because they're curious. Because they want to make sure I haven't exchanged my gimbal for an AK or anything like that. But they got like five people direct line of sight facing me who can be looking without being obvious. And probably are. It's distracting them from their training. I'm wasting tax dollars. Take a look. She, she's recording. One person clapping. Oh boy, the team spirit is just... I was going to say palpable, but I've used that word recently, so... Yeah. Well, we didn't overheat again, so that was cool. Now... Let's see the rest of the story. I guess I could stop and engage the shotgun mic. Uh, there is laundry up on that line. What? I don't get it. It's art, people. I believe it's art. Fooled me. Thought the cops were doing something human. But it's not them. Police employees only. Reserve parking. All right. Author wait, 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 wait. Authorized personnel and vehicles only. No public parking or access. Violators subject to arrest. So this whole back parking lot is a restricted area that you're subject to arrest for trespassing on. And it's marked only at the driveways. Whackadoodle. Alright, can I get up this? I don't think this is restricted access. So this is awkward. There's an accessible entrance on Stone Ave, I assume they mean altar abled or whatever. So look at this. You can walk right down this sidewalk into that arrestable area where you're trespassing. Are you only trespassing if you're in a car? Because there's no sign here saying that that's a restricted area. This is the this is the downtown police department. Okay. Well here's a project. We'll see about getting that removed. Or is that have they managed to avoid claims of flag defacement by having that sort of cheat line in the background and it's just sort of showing through but that's still a defaced American flag really gotta change that access access so I, I would assume there'd be a pretty good response time if you use that box for help this is a unicorn I found a unicorn it's not a HAL 700 which is good so we got some lock boxes here, 
for uh, public use or officer use. I'm not sure why they would use that. No weapons except Leo's. If you, have, if you have a package or letter that you believe may be contaminated, please remain outside and call 911 from a payphone. Well, good luck with that. Weapons including knives. Not permitted. Okay. Does that mean like any knife? Like I can't even... This facility is closed to the public. Wait, does that mean... Okay, that's the exit then. Does that mean that the grounds are also closed? No, that's silly. So this is where you just do your, your walk-up banking for police services. So I imagine I could come here to make a public, public records request. Office of Professional Standards, yes. Oh, well, for a complaint, OPS staff is available to address incoming complaints via telephone or via online reporting to file a complaint during business hours, call the phone. Uh, one of them is message only, I guess. The second one. Uh, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, looks like. Hello, sir, do you need help? Nope, just uh, getting information from the signs. Okay, okay, take care. My arms are up. <laughs> and then I didn't see this one. The Public Records Center is currently closed. Please, okay, so, so much for filming your uh, public records request and compliance with that and documenting it, but it's all going to be documented anyway if you do it by email. If you do not have email access, please speak to the officer at the front desk. Well, I would consider that, except that I'm probably going to be using an email address to receive the public records. So, well, let's go around. And I'm actually going to head back because I locked my bike onto a signpost, half because it was closest, and half because I wanted to see if they were going to be super petty. And, and give me grief about some city ordinance that probably exists prohibiting the locking of anything to a signpost. It's probably a thing. But now that I'm not there, you know, I would handle that in person, no problem, but no, this doesn't, this isn't safe at all. It's a bunch of open cover things for, uh, I guess they're doing some work, putting in a conduit or something. And that's probably what that guy who was going in and out of the door was there for, though he was inside for a while. He's wearing the same thing as these folks. They're all landscapers, working on landscaping. Here's a, here's a, I mean, those other signs were faded, but this, can't even, 0.9 miles, Santa Cruz River Park. I mean, you can barely read that thing. It's crazy. It's like a non-sign. They're using a pneumatic drill, a jackhammer, to bust through this gravelly stuff. So here's a loading zone for you know, stuff that comes in, new gear for assaulting the public and restraining them. Restricted parking area. Police personnel only. Okay, that much is clear. Wow, so everything about the downtown office except the front yard, the downtown police station, everything about it except the front yard is restricted access. But yeah, I want to get back to the bike so that they're not just, you know, cutting the lock and taking it. They'd have a good laugh about that. Take the Ward 6 survey. No. I mean, it's good to be involved in our local political process to some extent, but taking their survey, no. I'd rather go to some meetings and record them. Do you know there's a plan to make drastic changes to Reed Park? That's where the zoo is. It's a big old park. Change would be to cut down most of the big trees on Barnum Hill and build a building there, also walling the waterfall and the South Duck Pond off from Tucson families to make it part of the zoo. So the Reed Park Zoo doing a land grab in the public park. Yeah. This is not rosemary, this is uh, Texas ranger, uh, Texas barometer bush. It looks like rosemary from a distance. Texas rain sage. Not all of its common names, it has a couple few more and they don't all start with Texas, but... Most of them do. So, right here, oh no, I guess I can see the sign clearly, but look at all this restricted real estate. Wide open, but you can't go in there, you can't dumpster dive. You get arrested for that. Oh, they're tactical vehicles. And, uh, yeah, like I said, they were done before it started getting hotter. Okay. Most of them were done, anyway. There might still be one or two lollygagging around, milking the 1068 training time. Oops. Ah, uh, bad control. I tried to be all sly with the joystick and, like, follow that car exactly just for practice. 
but that's boring. It's all boring now. We're done. There's our downtown police station. Training exercise and all. I wonder if you can film people. Can you film people? Who's this guy? Is he subject to arrest? He doesn't look like a cop. He looks like an ordinary person. He's undercover. They don't like to be filmed. They, sh they, they just don't because they're secret. They're totally secret. He looked. I saw him look. He's wanting to see those camera angles. He's just a guy. He's just a part of the community. He's not like a spy from an agency that hates us and wants to take us down at any opportunity. Hey. That's the UFO. The UFO? Yeah, the UFO's coming out. What about it? I wanted to ask you, what did you feel of it? I didn't see any. I didn't see them. Were they? Well, we know the truth. Those uh -huh. of us that live in life. Oh, you mean just in general, UFO is coming out? Oh, we yeah. know the truth. Those of you guys that don't admit the truth, the devil is with you. Right on. You're a devil. Okay. Good message for the police department. If you don't admit the truth, the devil is with you. You're the devil. He's just a normal guy, normal guy, normal guy. He's just a normal guy living a normal life. You can confide in him. He is trustworthy. Tell him all your criminal secrets. Or he's just actually in his civvies coming in to report for duty. He's going to put on the clown suit when he gets in there. But I kind of don't think so. And a little head shake. Yeah. Anyway. Now the city is here doing something. More upgrades. Gotta treat those police departments like the royalty that they are. May the devil not be with you. Quack up.